It's that time again to get excited for Super Crawl. September 13th, 14th, 15th, James Street North becomes the biggest deal in all of Ontario. Maybe I'm making, make, making it too no, small. No, we'll go with that. Maybe it's all of Canada. Oh, uh, Festival sure. Director Tim Potisic is here. Hello. <laughs> Hi. But it is a big deal. Yeah, I remember last you. year we were sitting in our uh, spot with the Cable 14 truck and we were doing shows from there. Mm -hmm. And the crowds were great. Yeah. And we were right by the uh, stage. you know if that's where we'll be again? Yeah, exactly. I love the that same spot. spot. Hearing all the, the amazing, talented uh, artists. I hosted, uh, I think it was Saturday night, and the talent that night was so hot. I loved every second of it. Yeah. We'll have equally hot talent this year. Promise? Yes. Promise. Okay. So, <laughs> Sept I can't believe we're already talking about September, but that's the way it goes. Yeah. Uh, the weather should be perfect. Yeah. And uh, people should expect to come out and have a great time. What are we going to do when we're there at Super Crawl? Well, I mean, it's set up the same way. We have set it up over a number of years. So, uh, from one end to another, bookended stages. Uh, one, one end uh, uh, of the street and, and the other end of the street, 18-ish to 20 blocks in between with some side street activations. Yeah, you can get your steps in for sure. You definitely get your steps in. I get serious steps in, although I cycle most of the time. Um, really? Yeah, I ride my bike down side street so I can get back and forth through the festival. It's easier Super. that way. Okay. Yeah, and I don't wear out my feet. That's right. Uh, and as you're walking up and down, you're seeing what? What are you experiencing? Uh... All the best things in Hamilton. I mean, A, it starts on James Street, which is amazing. So great, you know, street uh, merchants vibe. on the street. Yes. Awesome vibe. <clears throat> Some great stores, great restaurants. So I always encourage everybody to come down that just don't get tunnel vision at Supercrawl and stay on the street. Go into stores, shop, you know, do all the things, meet the merchants, come back, spend more money. Uh, keep our downtown vibrant. A lot of the merchants will take some of their merchandise and actually bring it to the street. Yeah, right? some some put it outside, some don't. Depending on you know, it depends on what it is, right? So, uh, but they're all very engaged. So, and everybody wants to see you know people coming through their doors. So, I really encourage people to do that. And then, as far as the street goes, uh, you can get in a way where it's just like you just keep walking because there's always something and it's like all over the place and you just before you know it you're at one end and it's like oh you watch a band or two you come back to the other side so um but uh you know 40 food trucks so you're anything your heart desires uh from a food truck so and we curate everything really like quite high level right so really? like they're always like we find that we'll pick the best food trucks so you're not going to get junk so it really is the vibe like what you're you're looking for if you want, you know, if you're Italian or Mexican or if you want oysters or whatever. Like, there's all kinds of every, anything you could want, right? So it's there. Um, and again, I would like, ex I would say, come early, mm -hmm. go to a restaurant for lunch, come out and have food truck for dinner, or vice versa. Uh, I do know dinner times the restaurants are usually like you can't get reservations; they're pretty packed. So think about that early too. Um, but yeah, as you're walking down the street, I mean, the first thing you hit when you hit the two entrances is music, obviously. Uh, beer gardens as well. So, you know, you can partake, have a little sit down, relax, watch the music, drink a beer. Um, have some great food from food trucks, amazing family zones. So we always encourage families to come early and like participate in all the things that we have, like probably 30-ish, 25 to 30 vendors that are all like kid oriented. And there'll be some really unique, fun activations for kids of all ages to to uh, participate in. I'd say all ages up to about like maybe 11 or 12. And then when kids are start to get that age, their activations are actually music, right? So they're at yeah. the music stages. Do you know what the lineup is yet? Uh, of course I do. Can you tell me? I've known what the lineup is for quite some time. Tell me, tell me, tell me. <laughs> well, I, I won't go through the entire lineup, but I'll hit some of the highlights. Is that okay? Mm -hmm. um, so uh, we've had this one particular artist before. So uh, they were support artist about six years ago, uh, Rural Alberta Advantage. So they supported Bahamas. Uh, they had a massive crowd for a support act, the biggest like crowd we've ever had for a support act. So it was time, you know, it's been a few years they've grown as well. So it was time to bring them up to a level where they're headlining a stage. So there are Friday night on one stage and then we have Danko Jones, which is like a heavy rock band and, and other things like leading up to Danko that are like a very, you know, kind of younger, hip, uh, you know, circle pit-ish style like rock and roll show uh, at the other stage. And that's our Friday, our Saturday. 
we have uh, Matt Anderson, uh, and he's bringing his 12-piece band. So it's like horn section, backup singers, full band, and Matt himself is just a, he's a powerful uh, human being. And he's got such a huge voice, people will be freaking out for sure. And we have some incredible support, the Sadies, uh, that will be supporting them. So legendary, you know, uh, Americana rock band from Toronto. On the other stage, we have Rich O'Coin. So Rich is like, basically, it's a dance party. You know, it's a little DJ-oriented, but dance party has a huge parachute that he puts out onto the crowd. And the, it's the last year he's going to be doing this, he says. So, and everybody can, like, get under the parachute like you did when you're, like, a little kid yes. in public school. Or I don't know if they do that That's anymore. Summer but summer camp. Uh, yeah, in my day, they did. So that'll be super fun. Uh, the Deers from Montreal are coming as well as support to that stage. Um, there's a multitude of other bands, of course, also, like, we'll have about 40 artists performing on stages on, over the weekend. Where do we go to get all the information? Do we need to buy tickets in advance? Tell us what we need to no know tickets, that No tickets. Free event. What? Free, free for everybody. That's the beauty of Supercrawl. So, uh, we, um, yeah, we're completely free. So, okay. uh, can I hit Sunday, too? Please! So, Sunday, we always work with... Um, some local musicians, Steve Strongman, puts together like a really great lineup of, of artists for a Hamilton Superstar group. So he'll bring in like all kinds of guest singers and do um, all, all genres, basically, on the Sunday on the s smaller stage. And then I have a kind of personal favorite, uh, a band from the U.S. called Explosions in the Sky. And they're kind of like a ambient rock band, mostly instrumental, that are going to be taking the main stage on Sunday. And it's like the, it's kind of a highlight for me. Cool. I always book something a little bit for Tim. Harmony so. is hosting the Sunday. I have the pleasure of hosting the Saturday. Mm -hmm. I can't wait. Give us the website. Supercrawl.ca. Well, that seems easy. Yeah, very easy. Tim, thank you so much. Yeah, thanks. It's going to be such a great time. I can't wait. Coming up next, Amanda Froment from the Hamilton Burlington SPCA is here with some pets you can adopt. More Hamilton Life when we return.